Uh, and then Kells and Zed. Uh, Zed is a big fan of the fallopian tubes. And so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Small and local band. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, uh, I think they've just got the, the little vid cam on there. I think they have one on their shoulder, I'm pretty sure. Do they? I think you, you mentioned having yeah. one, yeah. Not on my shoulder, actually. There's one in my hand, and there's one in my eye. That's what it was. Um, so, just kind of doing a bit of a, uh, a, a quick, like... Recording kind of thing. Documentary recording sort of thing. Yeah. This one's for um, you, so you can always experience that time that you yeah, saw fallopian tubes. <laughs> yeah. This one's special. This one's just for me. <laughs> this one's for you. Yeah. Alrighty, and then Kells, what are you doing? Kells, Kells is enjoying a caffeine stick by the bar. Mm. Drink. I'll, I'll be. I'll. I, I want to say that I'm next to you, and I'm just kind of like holding my hand out for one as I kind of oh. trying to keep my eyes on my, my eye on that. But like, <laughs> I, I will hand you a caffeine stick, which works for one d six minutes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I can, you put one in my hand, and I keep my hand there. Just every finger, different caffeine <laughs> cool. stick. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, person at the bar. Are you sitting at the bar? Or are you sitting at a different? Uh, I imagine bar. this bar is yeah, relatively yeah. big. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bar. So the barkeeper is a, a kind of a jacked woman. Like she's got like a mohawk. Uh, big muscles, she's cleaning a glass, and she just goes, what, what's your poison for tonight? Ooh, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with these caffeine sticks and then, uh, a bag of whiskey. A bag of whiskey? Just a bag, yeah. Whole bag? <laughs> just one bag. <laughs> <laughs> that's laying for something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just that's my preferred delivery method. <laughs> it's like that's... milk. <laughs> How's a cup sound? <laughs> she pulls out. <laughs> Less exciting, but I'll deal with it. <laughs> take it. You're funny. I like you. How about you, miss? I'll take the same. Alrighty. <laughs> and you just, uh, two whiskeys come your way. Uh, Lux, we go back to you. Okay. I realize I don't actually know shit about this game. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know of the ones that you said, uh, the Enforcer yes. and the Private Eye sound like they're both good bets. What about an assassin? Uh, an assassin might know, actually. I want to say all three of those would know corpos and and dealings with corpos. Yeah. And how about a marines officer? I also know one of those. Uh, they might know too. Actually, they would. They might actually be your best bet. Marine officer. Yeah. It's like a military kind of person. Yeah. Yeah, that would. They would know the best. Oh my god, that's the only one I didn't come up with a name for. Oh, <laughs> uh, we could come up with one now. Um. Okay. okay Rock. Okay. Oh god. Rock. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> End of Just list. Rock. Um, okay, can I also have my enforcer friend be there because I'm really mostly just because I'm really good friends with him. Sure. Yeah. What's what's their name? Yuki. Yuki. Okay. So yeah, Yuki and and Rock. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I got such cool friends. Are sitting at the bar and they they're already a bit in. Uh, they've been there for a bit, uh, waiting for you to pick out your pink fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> You're always the last to show up, <laughs> but the first to party down hard. Um, and uh, uh, they sit there and it's like, hey, Lux, how's it going? Oh, it was a really good day today. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was great. We got money back from this guy who owed money to one of our tenants, and I blew a guy's arm off. So oh, I, fucking I sick. call it a win. I call it a win. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the, the assassin's just like, oh, heck, that, that's awesome. I, I, oh, those heck. are the best days. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking good. Fucking <laughs> good. And Rock's just like, ah, oh, I mean, I, okay. <laughs> He's a bit more sentimental about death. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually have a question for you. Both of you, all of you. I don't know who's here right now, so all. I want to say there's a couple unnamed people there too, because your booth is usually okay. full of friends and <laughs> people who you might friends take home with lovers. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm gonna give them the rundown of what happened earlier at the apartment. Ah, Sino, uh, the the uh, Yuki or Rock, yeah, the, the, the that's the Marine guy. Uh, Sino, I mean, you've heard the news, right? The, all the uh, I hag shit. Going around, yeah, it's been kinda. going on for like a year or so. Some, um, yeah. I mean the uh, uh, the uh, uh, I do hear that uh, like there is 
you know how there's that, like, kind of port bay that's near your guys' apartment? And there's kind of like a little canal that leads right into the bay near your guys' apartment. There's a good chance that maybe your guys' apartment, I mean, especially with that view of Arasaka, like, from the rooftop that you guys have, uh, uh, honestly, no, done deal, it sounds like it's just a good military position for Sino to, like, get taken advantage of if they're gonna, like, start a war with Otek. Uh, that's my two cents. Uh, I, I, I mean, otherwise, I don't know why they would bother. Like, nobody knows about Los Sombre, so, uh, but the, I mean, strategically, if they want to start a fight, maybe that's it. So we really can't let them have the apartment then. No, oh, I mean, you shouldn't anyway. That place is kick-ass. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm not sure how we're going to handle this, uh, particularly since I probably shouldn't handle it the normal way that I do things. So <laughs> um, we'll see how this goes down. <laughs> and uh, I think I would probably wave Kels and uh, Zed over. I don't, I feel like I, at this point, I've lost sight of Kip and I just am hoping that he's okay. <laughs> you see them starting to get up on stage. Uh, Kip, I want you to make the first roll tonight. Yes. <gasps> I, by the way, wrote down 13 songs. <laughs> Names of songs? <laughs> yes. And they're all like variations of real rage against the machine. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I want you to roll uh, uh, a d10 and then add your cool plus charismatic leadership to it. These are all my best stats. I want I to 21. You're a rocker boy, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> so you put on a pretty good show. There's people who have seen you. Uh, would you say you're a pretty regular at... Uh, like, do you just spontaneously go to Taffy's to to play yes, gigs I like do, this a lot? Yes, I do, but that, that bouncer has not... He's new. He he's new, been yeah. Around. He didn't, yeah. He didn't... He didn't... He doesn't recognize you. And he, but anyway, he's... grab the microphone and everything, and I kick the guy in the front row, like, <laughs> over onto his ass. She loves it. <laughs> He's like, oh, daddy, mom! He's <laughs> all you butt schmucking schmucks. We're going to play sleep now in the schmuck. <laughs> and then we just go. <laughs> and, and that's we go. Everybody else goes. And you put on a pretty good show. There, like people, like there was definitely a chill crowd a minute ago. Um, and when they saw no, you get up on dying. stage, <laughs> yeah, when they saw you get up on stage, they, 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 they came for what they came for, which were the fallopian tubes. Uh, and then a lot of them started to file towards the bar to get drinks, and then maybe head back to a different bar to bar hop. Um, but there's a hardcore crowd of, of people that like hang around for you, and they were waiting for somebody like you to get up, and they start to it's just like kind of purge. like thrash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, now they have an excuse to kill each other. <laughs> they were waiting for this all year. Just <laughs> one of them before the show starts. Like, brass Definitely with, like, malice. <laughs> Yeah, that guy should go to jail. <laughs> but yeah, now it, it gets a little harder to talk to each other because there's now death metal playing in the in the bar as opposed to chill synth. <laughs> I feel like synth. my friend who's one of the dancers here probably looks over and is like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? This is the vibe now. <laughs> this is the vibe now. <laughs> She's, like, they've been just, like, completely, like, not knowing what to do all night because you can't strip to... <laughs> fucking synth classical music and you also can't strip to death metal. <laughs> it's been a rough night. Rough night. You can night. jump around and Ooh, strip. These are the nights you really gotta improv. <laughs> Make you work for it. Gonna... Oh, we're here every Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Kels and, and Zed, uh, you get motioned over by Lex and the bar just starts to go... <laughs> Oh, I instantly just turn off any recordings because I've seen enough of Kip. The world's seen enough of Kip. <laughs> <laughs> I start stripping during my <laughs> You're not wearing even, anything. I don't even have that much. <laughs> <laughs> what an icon. I transfer my whiskey into a water skin so I can drink it out of a bag. <laughs> just more, it's just the, the, more like the, the, the bartender just sees Mine's you do it. She just goes, it's fucking wild, man. It's fucking wild. <laughs> She didn't think um, you were serious. <laughs> have I gotten anything um, back from Birdie? Uh, I want to say no. Uh, okay. Hasn't been long enough. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, um, I think, I mean, if it's harder to talk now, I think I would probably see if we all wanted to leave. But before going, I think I would probably check in with um, 
I would pull Yuki aside and ask, uh, essentially, I have him check up, sorry, her. What? Who is my friend? <laughs> Who yes, are my her. friends, even? I have, like, a lot. Um, I would check in with her uh, because she is helping me track down people that are on a list of mine mm -hmm. that I don't care for. Uh, and if she has any information on their whereabouts. Let's see. Uh, since you last checked, unfortunately, no. Got nothing. Uh, been Fuck looking. Hey, man. Um, in all honesty, we might want, like, the help of a net runner. Like, because sometimes when I do my thing, we have, like, a net runner backup. So, if you, if you know access to any of them, like, may, maybe we could get one. But, like, uh, until, uh, for now, I mean, you asked a week ago. Unfortunately, I don't have any updates for you. The only thing I really found out is that, like, there, <laughs> there was an assassination with that whole iHag thing. Which was fucking wild. Uh, I, in all honesty, uh, Rock over there, he was he's talking about possibly like a war starting. I think it. I think there's gonna be a war. Like it's really starting to look like it. No. Really? Yeah. I mean, we had one like four or five years ago. I mean, it's it's. What are the odds? I mean, Corpos they're out of control these days. Okay, that's just you know fine, whatever. Um. Okay, well, thank you. I don't know a netrunner. The only one I know I want to kill, so. <laughs> yeah, not that one. No, I, uh, I looked for... That, I mean, fight a netrunner with another netrunner, you know what I mean? And then somebody spills a bunch of, uh, like, alcohol on top of her, and she's like, Bitch, do you want to lose your arms? <laughs> 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 we all stop playing music for just a second. <laughs> then we start... <laughs> Like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. She does this all the time. There's, like, a blade that shoots out of her. <laughs> that makes she... sense. She taught me everything. She taught me everything I know. And then it just kind of slowly retracts back <laughs> in her. Sorry. Just fucking... Ugh, people gotta get less messy, you know? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Zed... We start back up playing. Zed was... <laughs> Zed was watching that, and you just would hear this, like, very imperceptible, like, click... As they're taking a picture. <laughs> just a picture of her going like this with a giant yeah. blade sticking <laughs> yep. out of her. <laughs> we'll just take like a sip of the drink and then just hand it to Kells because they don't actually like whiskey. They just got it. They didn't know what to I'll get. Put, put the rest oh. of the whiskey in my water skin. <laughs> it overflows onto the floor. It's He's... not a water skin. It's a whiskey skin. Now it's it a is. whiskey skin. <laughs> Correct. You just see Rocco just... <laughs> <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> Yuki is a short temper. <laughs> she lets it all out on her job usually, but like <laughs> she's just got to store that hate. <laughs> when we start, I love her so much. <laughs> we start playing the music back up and we pick up where we left off. You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. <laughs> hey now, you're an all star. Get your yeah. game on. Go smack. <laughs> Get your game out. Schmuck the corp. <laughs> <laughs> and then another guy dies in the <laughs> He just dies. <laughs> he really comes alive singing this He's song. He's beaten to death. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, would you all like to go back to the apartment, or are you? did you want to do anything else for the night before going home? I'm going to close out this bar. Oh, You're going to close out the bar? Okay. Uh, I'll stick with Lux wherever Lux happens, because, I mean... She gave me a ride, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could get you back. I slept in. Well, I didn't, but. <laughs> Great, fine. let's go. And you I'm just had gonna, five like, caffeine sticks. Out. Okay. <laughs> and That's I true. I did just eat like five. five <laughs> uh, I think I will take her on the rounds throughout uh, Taffy's and introduce her to anybody that she hasn't met yet, and I would force her to dance with me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay. And with that, we're going to cut back to Micah. Uh, Micah, do you have the garage door open to just let in the night sky kind of, like, drift through yeah. the... So, mm -hmm. uh, what you notice is, uh, earlier when they all left to go to the bar, you notice that black van. You notice it's driven by again, and then it leaves again. It's the same one, though. Is it following the same path? Yeah. Could I, uh... So, I have a thing where I can pull up my character sheet. Um, <laughs> it's called Google. <laughs> come it's on. wild. <laughs> Where'd it go? There, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm proficient in security tech. Can I 
either have or jury rig like a tracking device that like just a sticky tracking device and while it's gone go out to where it keeps parking and just stick it on the ground there sure yeah. okay. what do you what do you want this thing to do when it when it activates let's put it that way I just want it to ping so I can see where ping. It, oh, okay. It is. So it's just yeah. a notification. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You don't even have to rig, uh, uh, roll for that. Um, okay. Technically, your ability is like so high in that that you could just—it's good, um, especially for something as simple as just a tracking notification. Yeah. So like when it leaves, you you kind of like pull a bunch of parts out, you put them all together, um, load some code into it via a cord connected to your computer, and then you just kind of like. And it looks very inconspicuous, like you put it all inside of a discarded Coke bottle or something like that. I was um, thinking, like, uh, it's got, like, a shell of goo. It just looks like chewed gum. Yeah, yeah, something there. super inconspicuous. It doesn't, yeah. like... And it's just... You, you put it there, uh, maybe another hour goes by, and you do notice the... Ding! Like, the, it goes off. And you cool. look, and you see the car there again. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep tabs on its route, see exactly where it's going. Yeah, it just kind of parks outside of your apartment for a bit, and then it just kind of like it like if if you kind of start to look towards it, it drives off again. Hmm. Okay. Does it just loop around? Yeah, it's almost okay. like it's just wanting to watch without you knowing it's watching, but they're doing a shit job. <laughs> I'll text uh, Zed and let him know. Hey. Black Van's been keeping tabs on the apartment. I mean, page Z? Do texts exist? <laughs> yeah, Inside yeah. I would. But the I, thing I is, they're not page. as smart as smart texts. It's like you have to press the eight button like six times. Yeah. To get to... <laughs> <laughs> it's a pager. Retro. You can leave like a Perfect. fifty yeah. characters. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there so you get that like, text during during whatever dance. Zed has been thrown into. Uh, they probably just kind of like look off into the <laughs> the, the foreground um, as this just wall of text comes over their eye. Um, oh yeah, because you have the ticker display. I got the eye. ticker in my, in my eyeball. My fancy I'll eye. also ask uh, if you want me to stall them, hold them till you get back. Uh, who? Uh, the black man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, sorry. The black cyber van. <laughs> <laughs> it's got way too many not inconspicuous neon lights on the side. <laughs> Completely giving away its position. <laughs> it's got a robot arm. Yeah, <laughs> just a robot um, arm on the side. <laughs> Zed would stop dancing. Um, and Lux would... doesn't though, does she? <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, she's like watching Zed really carefully, but she's like, she's still going at it. Yeah, and like, I don't walk off the dance floor or anything. I'm just like, just standing there in the midst of everything, replying to this message. Um, I would say, uh, yes, stop them if you, solve them if you can. I'll try to get Lux out of here. I think Kells is on his way home, question mark. <laughs> uh, okay. and I would I would go over to, to Lux and uh, wherever we are, um, would like just get really close so that we could hear each other and say, there's something at home. Dad, I didn't know you felt this way about me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Are they still in the same bar? I'm playing music. Yeah. In. Oh. Can I can I do some flavor background noise for a second? Yes. <laughs> so I put my hands up, then my tongue and then I Not in my head, that's the actual. <laughs> There's Sound only scared. two people left alive in the crowd. <laughs> <You two. laughs> uh, I think that we should probably get home. Uh, there's something. There's someone. Someone is is stalking out our apartment. And that they, they might be related to the, that king fellow. 
That's not as fun as what I thought you were saying. <sighs> we can we can revisit that. Um, Great! And uh, she's gonna <laughs> go and <laughs> um, make like the rounds to say goodbye to everybody. And then she's gonna like look up at Kip and be like, and I, I, I just, as I'm singing, I'm gonna go, <laughs> uh, the classics. <laughs> no one's left alive to hear this. <laughs> Everyone's so tuckered right. out from moshing yeah, so and then hard. We, we end, and we're all, we're all soaking wet, and we're sweating and everything, and we all just, me and the band, just look at each other like, yeah, next Thursday. Next Thursday. And we just... We don't. We don't. We don't say goodbye. We don't do anything like that. We just all walk off stage. You just drop directions. the microphone. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I pick up your pants that are on the ground from when you stripped and just toss them to you. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So you all make your way back. I want to say Kells gets there first. Uh, you are all partying for a little bit longer. Uh, Kells, your motorcycle. Uh, you, what kind of motorcycle do you have, and does it make a lot of noise, like a like a Harley or like? No, it's more it's more futuristic. It's not quite as old school. Um, so it has more like of like a rocket. yeah. So it has more of like an electronic rocket. sound as opposed yeah. to a motor sound. Yeah. So uh, Micah, the the night is pretty quiet. You hear the sound of a car coming. You hear the ping go off, but you realize it's not the black van. It's uh, uh, Kells uh, arriving back. Um, on, on, and it's really dark out now, um, and there's only that single street light <laughs> that really illuminates the, the, the street and everything like that, and Kells pulls into the garage of lasting impressions, uh, and there you are. Cool. So, just a check. I I had meant for the tracking device to like stick to the car. Oh oh okay okay yeah um never mind I'm sorry about that I thought okay. it was just stuck on the street and told you when they would drive by um yeah no so you see them uh they have uh, seemingly parked a few blocks away. Okay, all right. Um, I explained to Kells that van has been just circling. Uh, how do you feel about a little sabotage? Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Keeps oh, I was. Sabotage too, but I mean, I was thinking like a little blow at their tires, make them stick around until uh, we figure out what they're doing here. But you know, if Hell you've yeah. got an idea. Oh yeah, we can blow up the tires. I like that. I think okay. that. Mm -hmm. I want to make basically just a tiny landmine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. That one, I'll I'll probably have you roll. Um, yeah. So uh, roll a d10, add jury rig and tech to it. Twenty one. Oh yeah, you, you okay? So you made one. It's not like uh, a gigantic bomb or anything. It's enough to disable a car for sure, though. Um, Perfect. And yeah, so uh, do you ride your motorcycles? How do you go? I want to say it's maybe two or three city blocks away from you. Oh, I was just gonna plant it where they keep going and wait for them to come back. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, you notice? Uh, so you put it where it was, and both of you kind of like almost like children waiting for Santa Claus to come yeah. down the chimney. Uh, sit there and like hide behind like, hide the desk, the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, Watching the monitor, see when it moves, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you, you notice that the tracking device has not moved at all, mm -hmm. and it's been a, an hour or so. But what starts to roll up to where that landmine you just put is is Lux's car. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the headlights down the block. <laughs> You know it's a car because the lights are pink. Yeah. So probably, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know for sure it's locked. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have installed some kind of remote disabling for that, but... Mm. Go right. run out, like, just go around! Go around! <laughs> you gotta go around! Do Curry another lap or something! Down. What? <laughs> Don't out here! Like, go around one more time! <laughs> Lux and Zed die. The bomb was the way more powerful than you initially. <laughs> Wait, is Kip Boom. with us? Kip's I, I with assume us, right? I gotta ride back home with them. Yeah, yeah. Kip is just sitting on, on the roof of the car. Yeah, I'm, I'm laying playing. on the roof of the car, <laughs> snoring though. Oh, <laughs> I want to say uh, if you no if you run out to the street and tell them to kind of move off to the side. Yeah, then, it's on. Like, imagine a street looks like this. Uh, your bomb is on this side because that's like they park on the curb kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And Lux just kind of goes like that to go to your building, which is on this side. And she, uh, do you have a usual spot you park it in? Like, is there a, a spot in the garage that you allow Lux to keep her car? No, it's full. 
It's full. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed I parked on like the street. Yeah, you just park it right in front of the building. I mean, everybody knows your luck stuff like filters out of the front of the stoop a little bit. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, it's, it's Lux's stuff. Uh, nobody's going to fuck with that. And the community knows no. you. So if a low level person who doesn't know you, they won't get very far if they try. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, you all park there. Uh, I guess you explain the situation that you put a bomb there. Another hour goes by. You're all starting to get a little tired because it's probably about like two in the morning now. Um, I have three more caffeine sticks. I feel like yeah. four in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Close yeah. down a bar. It's just getting really late, but yeah. that tracking device has not moved. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess they must have found it. You want to go track it down and find out? Like now? I mean. I'm only a couple blocks away. I can do a quick drive by and just see what's up. Yeah, I'll come with you. I'll, I'll, I'll disable. I'll recover the bomb. <laughs> Can I go with them? <laughs> we will, we will have to address the, the, the fact that you did in fact install an explosive device outside of our apartment. Under your orders. No, I do not. <laughs> you took next, some liberties. <laughs> well, next time you want me to stall someone, you need to be more specific. Oh, mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when mom and dad fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll go with them if they'll let me come with them. Can I come with you? I don't want to face Rick right now. He gets really angry when I don't come home on time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You hear quacking coming from the <laughs> fifth floor window. Oh, oh, God, I don't so want to go up there, man. I'm scared of him. <laughs> Um, so, uh, just to kind of move this along, we'll say, uh, you all, uh, the three of you, like, uh, Kip just kind of hangs out on the back of Kels' motorcycle again. You drive up there, uh, Micah, you immediately notice that your tracking device has seemingly fallen off and or been found and thrown away, discarded on the side of the road. Um, gotcha. so it is not on the black van anymore. Uh, you, you pick it up, you retrieve it, you come back to the apartment. Um, I want to say people probably started going to their rooms... Uh, started going to bed, maybe. Um, I want to say you're all, like, sleeping or trying to sleep, or what What are you doing in your rooms at 4 o'clock in the morning? Are you just, if I, you're <laughs> not sleeping, let me know. Can I have my flavor moment with Rick? Sure. <laughs> I open the door, and he's sitting in a chair, and he doesn't, he doesn't quack or anything, but he does look very disappointed for a duck. <laughs> and he's got a little mohawk, just like me. Everything. And he's got like a spiked collar on him. Sorry, Rick, I was going to invite you to the bar, but they don't let uh, people under uh, 35 into the bar. So, yeah, I'm so I know, I, I, if we have this conversation every week, I want to have a conversation again, Rick. It just does that it, thing do that ducks do where it stands up slowly and shakes its like butt a little bit. It hops you off the chair and walks into the bathroom. Don't you give that to me? Did you did you take the brownies out of the oven like I asked you to? There's They've just smoke coming out. Of <laughs> They've been smoking. We put the rub on them. We put the barbecue rub on them, and then we we just, we smoke them for 48 hours. It's been longer than 48 hours. Did you leave them in the oven like I did? Damn, He's so right. disappointed. <laughs> he goes and, off. And we have Somehow the smack. door slams to the room that Rick goes into. <laughs> could be hard to get her out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see him so mad. Um, is anybody else... Uh, or so did you fall asleep after that by 4 a.m.? I just sleep face down, naked on the floor in the living room. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Uh, I would stay up probably for another hour or so, flipping through. I, 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 it, in my apartment, uh, my personal apartment, uh, it's basically super minimalist, um, clean lined furniture. Uh, the only thing that is of note is that most of the walls are covered in like bookshelves that have actual physical books all over them and some vid screens posted on them. All of them have different news channels um, and things similar to like my show on them playing almost at the, ex all at the same time at the very low volume. But uh, they would just be cycling through all of these news stations, trying to find um, if, if anything new, news-wise. But also, um, they they always keep an ear out um, for uh, a couple of names uh, to pop up. 
a couple people specifically that that uh, she is currently looking for who have disappeared. Ooh. She's trying to find them. So I know who they are because Google I am it. the GM. That's like an evening routine. Uh, that's something that they do, regardless of when they fall asleep. That's just something they do for about an hour or so. Mm -hmm. um, hoping to... I want to say you pass out at your desk. <laughs> yeah. On your yeah. keyboard, it's just www. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and Lux, are you asleep? Uh, I think Lux would send a series of you up texts and then <laughs> eventually probably like fall asleep still holding her phone like at her counter. Roll uh, combat sense plus uh, reflex.